Hi friends, thank you for joining me for our weekly pastor's update. You may know that Spark has been working for three years through the Black Community Focus Fund Incorporated on the creation of an outdoor civil rights heritage site at Baden Park. Spark members have tirelessly engaged the residents of 14605 community by going out on Saturdays door to door They've engaged in grant writing during that time, fundraising efforts, and building community coalitions and coalition partnerships with the City of Rochester, with the Rochester Public Library, with artists, with area churches, colleges, and local organizations. Many of you have been part of supporting that ongoing effort and by attending so many of those events, concerts and guest presentations that have been hosted over the years. Yesterday, I hosted a backyard uh, party to celebrate that this week we learned that in addition to raising the first $100,000 towards that project, a state funding request that Spark submitted was accepted for $500,000. So we're so excited about that, and this signals really all the hard work that Spark has put in has finally paid off, and soon the Civil Rights Heritage Park will be a reality. So we send our congratulations to Spark. Speaking of congratulations, we also send our congratulations to Chuck and Gloria Costin on their 55th wedding anniversary. Congratulations. And Jonathan, Arlene Keltos and John Keltos on receiving the New York State Senate Empire Award for their business, John John's Bakery, which many of us have had a chance to taste at our annual craft show, and maybe you've gone to the Brighton Market and tasted some of their goodies. The Senate Empire Award recognizes excellence in business throughout the state, and so we are so proud of our parishioners. We're proud of Chuck and Gloria, and John and John Keltos. During the month of August, we have had, we have many ways uh, to support the work of Grace of God Recovery House, which is our ministry to men in recovery. And so we have an opportunity to help this ministry raise uh, its goal of $150,000. I personally hosted a home party this past weekend on Sunday, and I coupled it with choosing Grace of God Recovery House as an online fundraiser through Facebook, which is available really to anybody who has an August birthday. You can go on and you can choose Grace of God Recovery House and invite your friends to donate uh, towards that beautiful ministry. I did that, and combined, I've raised $2,000 for this beautiful ministry. It's very easy um, to do. So, But for more details on how, to, uh, how you can help uh, support Grace of God Recovery House during this month of August, check out our um, other news in the bulletin this week. And there are many ways that you can support this amazing work of recovery in our community. You're also invited to join us for our 22nd anniversary mass for Grace of God Recovery House. And that will happen on this Thursday, August 18th at seven o'clock. Thursday, August 18th at seven o'clock will be our 22nd um, anniversary mass for Grace of God. So I hope you'll join us for that. I also spent this past Saturday with the Young Adult Ministry doing a service project at the new Nielsen House. What a fantastic group of young people, of young men and women who care deeply about their community and about one another. So if you are looking to join an amazing group and you are in your 20s and 30s, I hope you will consider joining our young adult ministry or attending our monthly young adult mass that happens on the last Thursday of every month. So if that is you and you're interested or you know somebody who's interested, please contact Kristen Walker and her email is listed in the bulletin this week. We also have a need uh, for more sacristans for our 930 Mass. And so they need additional volunteers to help set up and 
you know, there's a very flexible schedule. So if that's you and you have um, some interest and you have some time to help us and be part of our sacristan group at 930, we ask that you please contact Reverend Seeley in the church office and her number and contact information is located in the bulletin as well. We send our condolences out this week to Don Alampi and his family on the death of his father, Nikolai Alampi. We want you to know that our hearts are with you, our prayers are with you, and we're thinking of you. Well, friends, be sure to listen for the singing of birds and to feel the beautiful morning breeze on these few summer days that we have left. They are absolutely beautiful. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining me for our weekly pastor's update. I will begin my vacation starting this coming Saturday, and I'll be gone for two and a half weeks. Um, so I won't be here with you doing the pastor's update, but we'll see if we can get a good fill-in for me. All right. Blessings to you, and thank you so much. Take care.